Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a list of some different possible reading orders for Brandon Sanderson's Cosmere books. I have done one of these in the past, but since Rhythm of War and Dawn Shard have come out, it's getting harder and harder <laughs> to tell people they don't have to read the other Cosmere books before the Storm My Archive series. So I wanted to do an updated reading order for you. There's no definitive right or wrong way to go into it, with the exception of you should probably read Mistborn, not probably, you really should read Mistborn Era 1 before Mistborn Era 2, and then of course the books within the individual series you want to read in chronological order. But as far as the separate series themselves, there really isn't a absolute this is how you have to do it reading order. So it ultimately comes down to how many tie-ins do you want to be able to see, how many of the little easter eggs, how many of the fun theories that fans freak out about do you want to pick up on, how much of that do you want versus your personal reading tastes or maybe what your experience is with adult fantasy because jumping right into Stormlight would probably be really daunting. So I have five different possible reading orders, all dependent on what you as an individual are looking for. Even with these five, there are probably some other reading orders that people would recommend that are different. So if you have your own reading order, feel free to leave that in the comments section down below and let people know why you think that's the best of the best way to go about it. But the five reading orders that I would recommend are as follows. The I Need Breaks reading order, Easiest to See, Prep, Deep End and Reverse. I'm going to start with the I Need Breaks reading order, and by that, this is saying because the Stormlight Archive books are all massive and they're continuing to get longer and longer, they're all over a thousand pages, and they have, they have short stories, no, novellas that go alongside them, you can definitely get a little bit burned out, even though I think that they're fantastic books, it's still a huge commitment. So you might not want to just binge Storm My Archive once you get around to that. You might want something to alleviate yourself from this massive series. So this particular order is going to go as follows. You'll start with Warbreaker, then you'll jump into Mistborn Era 1, then you'll get into Elantris, then from there, to give yourself a break between the Stormlight Archive books, I've actually broken up the Mistborn Era 2 books. These are a very different feel from all the other Cosmere books. They feel very Wild West-esque and kind of almost crime-like. They're a little easier to get into. They almost are reminiscent of the noir genre, so I think that they're really great ones to have in between the Stormlight Archive books. So I'd recommend now jumping into the Alloy of Law, which is the first of Mistborn Era 2, then read Way of Kings, then you can read the second Mistborn Era 2 book, then jump into Words of Radiance, then you can read both Edge Dancer and the Mistborn Era 2 third book before taking on the giant book that is Oathbringer, then you can read Dawn Shard and Mistborn Secret history, and if it's out at the time that you get around to these books, maybe Mistborn Era 4 will even be out at this point, so you could add that in and then jump into Rhythm of War. This guarantees that you'll always be caught up with Cosmere elements, but you're giving yourself a little bit of a break between the bigger books. I know it's not to everybody's liking to try to just <laughs> jump through all Storm My Archive, so this one's going to give you a little bit of a breath of fresh air. The next reading order is pretty much the opposite in its benefits, and that would be the prep reading order. So this one, the entire setup for this is to prep you for Stormlight Archive. So you're going to start with Elantris, then you read Mistborn Era 1, Mistborn Secret History, and Mistborn Era 2. You just binge all of it. Then you read Warbreaker, which is the closest in implications to Stormlight Archive, and then you jump into Stormlight Archive and you read it and all of its short story novellas, which, like I said, Edge Dancer comes after Words of Radiance, Dawn Shard comes after Oathbringer, and then Rhythm of War. So you really truly are just binging each group, but you're still going to get all the prep you need before you start the Storm My Archive. Next reading order is the easiest to see, and this is the one where I think that the downside to binging all those other series before you get to Stormlight is you might forget some of the details. So this reading order is going to be kind of a mix of the first two, where you're going to get most of it beforehand, but you'll still have a little bit in between the bigger books. 
I mentioned this reading order in my Before You Read Rhythm of War, so you might recognize it, but you can start with either Elantris or Mistborn Era 1, whichever you want, you can swap them. From there, you've dipped your toes in, so you can go a little bit deeper, and you can start Way of Kings, and then because there is no novella after Way of Kings, you can then put Warbreaker after Way of Kings. Warbreaker tie-ins into the Stormlight Archive are more obvious when you get to the later books, so it's not really necessary that you have to read Warbreaker before Way of Kings, but you are going to start to see that stuff in Words of Radiance on, so by putting Warbreaker right before Words of Radiance, it'll be a lot more obvious to you. So after Warbreaker, you then can read Words of Radiance, and then after Words of Radiance, you can read Edge Dancer. Then you can go into Oathbringer, and then Dawn Shard, and then Rhythm of War, and then after that, because it doesn't have too many tie-ins, you can read Secret History and Mistborn Era 2, so you have a little bit of a break with the Mistborn world of Skadriel. So with this one, there are, there are tie-ins. That's the thing, is there are definitely tie-ins into the Stormlight Archive from the Mistborn world, but by reading all of Mistborn Era 1 beforehand, you're probably going to pick up on the things that you're seeing in the Stormlight Archive series. I don't think it hurts too much to put Era 2 after. Next up is the reverse reading order. This is for people that want to see everything backwards. And what I think is fun about this reading order is I think it's very appealing to people who like backstory and who like prequels. So if you're the kind of person that finds you love when something gets its own lore in an adaptation or a prequel or something like that, I think this reading order is going to be very appealing to you, and you can also then see the tie-ins in reverse. So this one, you would read all the Roshar books, all the Stormlight Archive books, Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, Oathbringer, with their given novellas in between, so all that covered first. Then after that, you're going to want to binge <laughs> all of Mistborn, and then you can give yourself a break and read the standalones after. It doesn't matter which order, you can read Warbreaker after or Elantris. You're starting with the biggest, and then you're kind of working your way down. The last one would be Deep End, and this is the one that I think takes some elements from the reverse order, and it's got some of those things that might have sounded appealing, but you don't have to read all of Stormlight first. So you're gonna start with this one, with Way of Kings. Then you can read Mistborn Era 1, and if you are wanting to read Secret History, you can read that right after Mistborn Era 1. Then you can read Words of Radiance, followed by Warbreaker and Edge Dancer. After that, you have Oathbringer, followed by Elantris, Dawn Shard, and Mistborn Era 2. Doesn't really matter exactly where you put these. The point of this reading order is that you're always getting some of the Cosmere mixed in, but you're not starting with the smaller Cosmere. So you always go really big, and you take a little bit of a break, and then really big, and then you take a little bit of a break, and then even bigger, and then you're taking a break, but a break that still has a lot of other stuff in it. And then after that, you have Rhythm of Four. I feel like in saying all of that, I sounded like a crazy person, and I'm sure it was slightly difficult to keep track. In the description bar, I'll have them all listed out, so that way, if you're like, man, that went really fast, and I don't remember exactly what she said, I'll have it listed there as a reference for you. This was more to kind of talk through why certain reading orders might be more appealing to you. For those of you that have read everything in the Cosmere, and by that I mean all of the short stories, novellas, those sorts of things in Arcanum Unbounded, White Sand, that sort of stuff, feel free to leave your own recommendations as to where you would put those. You can also use some of the reading orders that I mentioned and then just kind of insert those other things in there because if you're not familiar, the Cosmere does have a lot of other little short stories that aren't really main novels and they're not directly tied to the main novels, but they're still relevant here and there. So for the really diehard fans that are like, there's, an, there's a perfect way to read all of those ones too, feel free to leave your recommendations. I hope that was helpful for you. I'll leave my Storm My Archive and Brandon Sanderson playlist in the description bar down below. I have lots of other information about this world, this universe that Sanderson has created. If you need some more references or you just want to geek out some more. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.